Harry Houdini, he's been gone for nearly a century now, yet his legendary and death-defying performances, they're still revered by magicians today. A new Science Channel series looks to uncover the methods behind Houdini's genius. Joining me now is George Hardeen. He's Houdini's grandnephew, along with Lee Terbosik. He's a magician and daredevil. It's great having you, gentlemen. Welcome in. Thanks for having us. Thanks a lot. All right, this special series, it kicks off on Sunday. What can we expect? You're gonna see some magic. We are recreating Houdini's most iconic tricks, and we have my buddy Lee perform them. Oh, all right, very cool. So in each episode is actually uh, surrounding one of those, one of his most daring stunts. Let's go through each of them. First of all, one of them is catching a speeding bullet. That was pretty remarkable, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, we do the bullet catch. We also uh, tackled the water torture cell, buried alive in the Coretta escape. Uh, but what you see is what you get. We, we're, we're using live ammunition. We, you know, I'm, I'm learning techniques on how to hold my breath uh, for, the, uh, for uh, the water torture cell. We're definitely exploring the science behind each stunt and the genius of what Houdini came up with at a time where he didn't have a lot of tools that have, uh, you know, to, to work with. So he was inventing apparatuses on his own to pull yeah. these things off. It really is incredible stuff. And Lee, of course, I mean, you're going to want to know the science behind it before you do it because catching a bullet doesn't exactly, sound like yeah. a lot of fun <laughs> unless you know the science before. No, yeah. no. <laughs> not when you're standing down range and they're aiming a gun at you. Yeah, of course. So that's, uh, that's intimidating. Absolutely. In no, Houdini's George, time, oh. 12 people died performing that feat. The olden times were no fun. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. My goodness, that's a, that's a lot of people to sacrifice for a trick. My goodness. I, I mean, so you're obviously yeah, a member really. of, of the Houdini family, helping piece together these clues. I mean, have, have there been any, uh, have there been secrets, Houdini secrets have been passed over through the generations, or is this something you're just trying to figure out with everyone else? Well, I think magicians like Lee know more Houdini secrets than I do yeah. because I'm not a magician. I just happen to be related to Houdini. So just like everybody else, I'm fascinated by what he did, what he came up with, the way his mind worked. But on this uh, show, yeah. I get to explore going around the world, uh, seeing his writing, seeing his sketches, seeing his actual artifacts. So uh, this is as entertaining for me in the show as it will be for people watching it. I think it's a testament too to, to Houdini's legacy. I mean, really, if you think of the things from the 1920s and beforehand, in today's society, everything's going so fast, technology's so crazy. The fact that Houdini's work still stands is really a testament to, to, to how great his work was. It really does. He was an incredible inventor. Uh, uh, writer, performer, dared, I mean, he just was doing it all at a time when many people weren't, you know, he was, he was larger than life. And that's what is so incredible about the magic that he, he created. Well, we're looking forward to seeing this. It's a four part series on the Science Channel. It's called Houdini's Last Secrets. Gentlemen, it's great having you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. This is going to be a lot of fun. The Science Channel four-part series called Houdini's Last Secrets. It premieres Sunday at 10 p.m. Only 12 people died trying to do the bullet trick before he figured it out. I mean, come on. ScienceChannel.com if you want to learn more. By the way, they're a proud sponsor of The Morning Blend.